este son. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola, ¿cómo estás, mi gente? Quiero que mi gente. Hola, ¿cómo estás, mi gente? I have to be more confident. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Should I say it in a different voice? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Now, hi, I'm Eli Vasquez, and I'm learning Spanish in 90 days. Needless to say, Spanish has been a struggle for me. If you see me in videos, I am the only person on the team that doesn't speak any Spanish. Amor mi, pero so un que mucho besitos. <laughs> Taco too rápido. Oh. Siento televisión. Siento? What? Oh, mi español muy poquito. Muy poquito, like hella poquito. A little about me, about why I don't know. I'm like second, third generation Mexican, Puerto Rican in Northwest Indiana. Northwest Indiana is very diverse. It's right outside Chicago. Tons of Latinos, tons of Mexicans and Puerto Ricans, but it was having really young parents who are very Americanized, who had to support a kid and while they're teenagers that didn't really have time to instill that learning Spanish in me and they barely knew Spanish themselves. So it was something that I never really grew up with which eventually turned into this insecurity and an insecurity that made it very hard for me to learn. One of my big goals, my grandmother, Rosa, I've done some videos with her in the past where I made uh, her rice. She's my heart, man. She taught me how to love, she taught me how to care, she taught me that, you know, I'm, I'm worth it and she taught me what real unconditional connection is and, and my whole goal my entire life has always been to make her proud and my one of the main things that how I wanted to do that was to have a conversation with her in Spanish. So for the next 90 days, I will be working with Spanish Sin Peña, an organization created by Wendy Ramirez. Hola, hola, my name is Wendy Ramirez and I am the founder of Spanish Sin Pena. So I started Spanish Sin Pena to support Latinx professionals build their confidence speaking Spanish, have more job opportunities, and just connect with their community, with their culture, with their heritage. And I just want to serve as a resource for my community so that we can all uplift one another. So I'll be working with her one on one while diving into a series of different challenges, all ending with me finally having that conversation with my grandmother. What was Adise terrified? <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I feel like I'm overwhelmed right now. This is a really busy week. So let's just add on learning a whole new language that you are emotionally scared to learn your entire life. Sure, let's do that, it's a good idea. It's my first official session with my amazing teacher, Wendy, yay! We're excited. Como estas? Bien! What would you say is your biggest challenge when it comes to speaking Spanish? Man, my biggest challenge. I think my mind just shuts off. When you were doing Duolingo or Rosetta Stone, mm -hmm. were you trying to speak to people or were you just doing it? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the fear of speaking to people. Like, I think I was like, oh, I could, let me just master this in the safety of my own home. Except for the fact that right. you're going to make mistakes, that it brings up anxiety and that someone might be judging you. You've got to step out of your comfort zone in that in that sense. And I think the best way to do is just to start getting into it and practicing it. Is it okay if we try now to hablar en español? <laughs> sí, sí. So, ¿cómo se llama tu abuelita? ¿Qué? ¿Cómo se llama mi, tu abuelita? Oh, ¿cómo se llama? Mi abuelita se llama Rosa Vázquez. Ok, muy bien. ¿Y dónde vive tu abuelita? Uh, ¿Puedo again for me? ¿Dónde vive tu abuelita? Oh, man, these simple words get me. ¿Dónde es where? Don't where. This video is going to be something special. I'm like really putting my... Well, no, what's going to be more special is your ability to communicate and to speak Spanish. Yes. <laughs> so I just finished my first uh, session. There's just so many emotions, like so many feelings, like I'm so afraid to mess up. Wendy's like f so sweet and so nice. We get along so well and she's such an amazing teacher off the bat. I'm looking forward to working with her, but like I just feel like I don't even know the most simplest things and I just get so in my head. Okay. I didn't realize how much of like an emotional wall there is. I think I just need to allow myself to mess up. I have to put post-it notes on everything and put the Spanish words on it. Okay, I am all labeled. As you can see, I got the my sheet, my helpful sheet here. 
and I got everything labeled. I couldn't figure out what that was in Spanish. Tough word. Number one tip for me, a piece of advice for me to learn Spanish. I think you already like a lot of songs in Spanish, like Hector Lavo. I would recommend you learn the lyrics to those songs. You gotta immerse yourself. Stop, stop being scared. You know, <laughs> talk to people. Don't be afraid of being judged. People are gonna say some shit yeah, that they're gonna say anyway. It don't matter. Just do it. No. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. But guess what? You won't get better. Watch or like consume Spanish media. Talk with us more. I yeah. think that's every single day. I've learned so much. My accent has gotten so much better. Just take one of us aside every day mm -hmm. and just have a simple conversation. We understand. That's mm -hmm. the thing. And I think that you should practice in your car so that you can practice with us. We got Mexican food for lunch today. Even though I just did one session, I'm feeling confident. I'm gonna order only in Spanish. Hola. Uh, yo quiero dos, two, uh, dos fish tacos. Dos tacos de pescado? Uh, si. Uh, y dos, uh, two pork tacos. Dos pork, pork tacos, por favor. Dos tacos de pork. Got pork. Carnita. Carnita. I'm learning Spanish. <laughs> I said it confident and then I messed it up. And then I had to do it over again and there's a long line so everyone's mad at me. Damn it. Better like retweeted me on uh, Twitter when I posted that I'm gonna be doing my Spanish journey. So now everybody knows. But you know, I'm gonna take advantage of this because I'm committed and I'm gonna start making my tweets in Spanish. Hold myself more accountable. So. Week tres! Hey! <laughs> semana, hey. semana, 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 semana tres. Semana tres. <laughs> Dio uh, Flores. Uh, 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 how do you say? But. Pero. 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 <laughs> oh, oh my God! I'm not <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I, I need to do more of what we're doing here. Once I see it, I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Practice twice a week like this, it will definitely help. But do spend some time reviewing and memorizing, especially these words that come up in our natural conversation. So I just finished talking to Eli and, or Ellie. El se llama Eli. Eli is doing very, very good. I love the fact that now he's speaking, at least in the present tense, he can recognize a lot more words. Escribo carta. Muy bien. He's doing a great job. I think he could meet his goal. Porque mu mucho tra trabajo y familia. Yo, yo tengo, I have a lot of work. Uh, yo tengo mucho trabajo. Tengo. Que tengas un bonito fin de semana. Bonito, the weekend. ¿Qué es bonito? Bonito, lo bonito, ¿cómo se dice bonito? Oh, lindo. So have a beautiful oh, <laughs> weekend nice. or have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Que tengas un lindo o un bonito fin de semana. ¿Cómo se dice ditto? <laughs> Igual. So emotional, this session. Not only Wendy is like this like really nurturing, like maternal energy that you feel really comfortable with. It was just like having to do this like activity that puts me in this vulnerable space two times a week. And it's like, I'm overwhelmed. I'm like, I feel just stuck with my schedule and everything I got going on. And then having to like be like, oh my God, I have to do this thing that makes me feel uncomfortable. That's like me kind of progressing and pushing. I just wanted that session to end and she was so great and I felt like she saw that and just told me to don't be too hard on myself. Don't, you know, f put too much weight on me. Like just try to have fun and I, this was an emotional week. Emotional week. So apparently someone is trolling me over here. I looked it up. And that means idiot or silly or foolish. What? You don't want to do that. You're bullying me. Bobo? No, that's not me. I don't say what? Bobo. I say Palomo. Who did it then if it ain't you? I bet you that, that sounds like Maya. I don't know. I don't know. Maya wouldn't do that. I, would, I wouldn't call you a Bobo. I would never dare to call you a Bobo. I would say like Palomo, Pariguayo, <laughs> Mama Cuevo. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> ¿Cómo te sientes? Te sientes. 
things. Uh-huh. What am I asking? Oh, well, I'm assuming how am I doing, but you usually ask how am I feeling. Ajá, ajá. Sí, ¿cómo te sientes hoy? Bien, bien. Uh, yo hablo señor con mi um, co-workers. ¿Qué haces con tus co-workers? What do you do with your co-workers? Practicamos español. Ah, okay. Muy bien. <laughs> I want you to like truly, truly like immerse yourself in Spanish. It's going to be really, really hard. It's not even about just doing the homework. You're going to have to do some drastic changes. Are you ready for, to do that? Mm-hmm. Are you ready to do those? <laughs> yeah. Because this yeah. is what I'm going to tell you to do. Number one is you're going to change all your devices to Spanish. Number two is listen to Spanish music only. Okay. Only. Oh <laughs> you might think this is not helping me put a sentence together but what it's doing it's building your vocabulary and it's going to build your curiosity i thought i was doing well i figure like oh i'm confident because i'm like talking and i'm able to be comfortable and i'm able to have conversation and then she was just like yo we're taking it to the next level i don't know what i'm doing i'm just excited and scared at the same time we are almost completing our first month with eli and he's doing great but He needs to study, 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 and just really immerse himself in the language. If you want to learn something, you have to try to just have it around you. As you can see, I changed my computer to Espanol. Mi computadora in Espanol. So far, it's fine. Like, I get confused on some things. Like, I'm like, oh, I know what these words mean now. This is... Escritorio, desktop, aplicaciones, uh, recent, recientes, but it's really annoying when I have like stuff to do. I'm heading to work and I'm like starting to listen to music now and I'm listening to like Hector Lavoe, like, like I would listen to him with my dad in the car when I was a kid and I, I always loved the music, I always felt the music but I never knew what he was saying. Like I still don't know a lot but being like actively listening now and actively breaking down words and feeling that nostalgia as, as I was a kid, it just kind of hit me that like, I need to start going all in. I need to dive in. Like no, three months is a lot and, and I want to be exceptional. I want to show my grandma that like, how much I care about this. So I'm in Chicago. I gotta be honest, traveling while having a, everything in Spanish on your cell phone sucks. I missed an exit on the way to my plane and almost got lost. I don't know, I feel good, I feel, hey, 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 hey. So I made it to my grandma's house. I gotta be honest, I'm really nervous. Challenge of me having to talk to my grandma in Spanish, see how I did it in 30 days. I, I don't think I'm gonna do a good job at all, but I'm gonna do my best, I'm gonna try my best, and she's gonna teach me how to make rice only saying Spanish. Please, ancestor gods, teach me everything. Oh yeah, they didn't know Spanish either. Hola, mi gente. I am uh, a grabar pero like, or con pero like, making a rock and con mi abuelita. Abuelita. See how I did. Whoa. So I'm hoping the next two months I get like, just let it flow and we can have a conversation. Yeah. Like, just because you know, it's like, I love you so much. This has been like a goal for me uh, since I was a kid. So yeah, really. it's 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 gonna mean a lot to be able to call you and have this conversation yeah. in two months. So it's a goal of mine. <laughs> As of this morning, March 14th, CDC reported more than 2,000 cases of COVID-19 and 50 deaths from 49 states and District of Columbia. Now to the coronavirus emergency. There are now more than 2 million cases reported in the United States. I'm stressed. The challenge is me still doing it with all this. I don't know if I'll even get to finish this video. It's hard to stay motivated with the unknown. So needless to say, I haven't practiced Spanish and I haven't really done anything. I am concerned because I traveled. I was trying to figure out a second challenge this month. 
I was going to be out with people and to practice, but I think I realize now that I, I can't be around anyone. My roommate doesn't speak Spanish. I'm alone here for the foreseeable future, so I need to practice. I need to call my family that do know Spanish. I call friends that do know Spanish, and I think that's just going to be what I'm going to have to do going forward. There's a lot of worry going on, especially for my grandma. And I just want her to be safe, I want her to be okay, and um, we're just gonna take it day by day, y'all. And I'm just gonna be bugging people saying, hey, speak Spanish with me, and I think people will have the time to do so. Que te trajo a Los Angeles de Chicago? Get te trajo a Chicago. What brought you to Los Angeles from Chicago? Oh, what, yeah. Um, what brought me to Los Angeles? Uh, uh, películas. Películas. Uh, Español o en inglés, una palabra. Uh, anxiety. Mm, ansiedad. An oh, es ansiedad. Ansiedad. Uh -huh. Ansiedad. Sí, yeah. The learning is growing. Knowledge is power, which was once just one stack, is now oh so many. Uh, decir, which is to say, in past tense is ir. Este dije. Dije. Then the near is the nihe. Goodbye, Vine. Doesn't make any sense. Filmmaker is cenista. Cenista. So, yo soy cenista. Steven Spielberg, pero like. Yo necesito portricano y mexicano cenista, por favor. I didn't do too bad, you see, I'm learning. I'm learning. There's two more weeks left. There's two more weeks left. Freaking out. I'm scared. I'm worried. The world's going insane. I need to learn Spanish every day. I have anxiety. I'm hungry. I just have to dive in. I know I just have to be myself. I really confused mierda with miedo. I've been saying shit this whole time. Y yo estudio en la bañera. Y estoy muy fresco. I'm going to pull my afro out. Que es este eso es ese esa es. And they all mean the same thing. I've been trying to crack this for the longest. Hola, como estas, Wendy? <laughs> muy bien, y tú? Ah, muy triste. <laughs> Por qué? No resto uh, final clase. Clase final. <laughs> sí, ahora estamos con Eli, un buen, buen, buen estudiante. Muy oh. bueno. <laughs> emocional. <laughs> El... Estoy emocional. Sí. Bravo. <laughs> sí, tu pronunciación ahora es mucho mejor. Te puedes comunicar en tres meses es mucho. Yo no, yo no hago un pro programa de tres meses porque necesitas tiempo para aprender. <laughs> Pero en tres meses haces muy, muy bien. Yo quiero decir gracias para las uh, clases fantástico. El ex experience es muy, fan uh, muy fantástico y incre increíble. Um, usted y todas las personas hispanas sin peña son increíbles. <laughs> Qué bravo. Uh, yo siento afortunado llamarte mi profesora y es, es, espero que estés orgullosa. Sí, sí, <laughs> muy bien, wow. I am hard on myself. It is like an emotional process and I didn't realize how emotional it was until like the first session we had. I know this is just the beginning and like I keep learning more and more and I'm just like, esta, este, este, it was the way. Estoy muy triste. I'm very sad that the time with Eli has come to an end. To be honest with you, when he first told me that he wanted to learn Spanish in three months, I thought he was loco. I didn't think it was possible to learn a language in three months, but Eli is always challenging himself, always doing crazy things and that's what I love about him and that's why it made it so fun to work with him. He improved a lot <laughs> in three months. His pronunciation is really good. He can understand so much more. He can communicate his message, basic message. Of course, I told him he can't stop at three months because it's so important that he continue 
practicing and improving and I'm gonna check up on him in another three months to make sure that he continues on this journey because it's such a beautiful thing that he can communicate with his abuelita which is his goal and I want him to have that connection. I want him to feel proud and I was very happy to hear that he was already proud of how much he's improved. It's officially been 90 days and I'm not gonna lie, I wrapped up my last call with Wendy and it actually took me another week to actually have this conversation right now. And it's because I am scared. I'm scared, I'm nervous, and, I, and I'm like trying to deal with the emotions of what it is and it's like the fear of failure because of what everyone might think about me. And I started thinking that this whole experience, a lot of it has had to do to prove other people wrong, to make people not judge me, to make people not make me feel some type of way, make me feel negative. I'm realizing that the reason why I never learned Spanish before is because of all those insecurities. Now I stand here today not caring what anyone thinks. Dude, this is the, a personal conversation with my grandmother, and this is ours. I'm proud of it, and I'm excited for the future, and I am going to dive in and keep making mistakes. I think after all the craziness of these last three months, this has been the lesson I've been looking for. So let's do it. Hello? Hello, hola, I mean, hola, como estas? Mi, mi abuelita. Como esta, yo te bendiga. Si. Como esta, muy bien, y tu? Bien, descansando. Cansado? Descansando. Ok. Tu día acopado? No, papito, yo no hice nada. No, uh, <laughs> comida? Did you cook? Uh, yo no cociné. Yeah, tú uh, cociné? No. Estoy practicando español. Uh, Qué bueno. Sí, sí. Um, hablando mejor. Perdón. Hablando mejor. Hablando mejor. Uh, sí, mucho mejor. ¿Orgullosa? Yeah, sigue practicando. ¿Cómo se siente eso hoy? Me siento bien, aquí estoy un poquito cansado, papito. Oh, un poquito cansado. Yeah. Oh. Abuela, ¿qué es tu favorita música? La que antes me dijiste lo doy en un día, ¿no? Oh, sí. Y también me gusta Celia Cruz, ¿te acuerdas? Oh, Celia Cruz, yeah, sí. Yeah. Con, con azúcar. ¿Te gusta Bad Bunny? No. ¿No Bad Bunny? No. ¿Con reggaetón? No, no reggaetón. Yo te dije, no me gusta el reggaetón. ¿No reggaetón? No. No, no me gusta Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny es no. puertorriqueño, abuelita. No, pero no me gusta. <laughs> ¿Qué es tu favorita comida? Oh, mi comida favorita. Oh, fe yeah, comida favorita. Pasteles, acapulia, bacalao. Co ¿Cómo se dice the best? The best, el mejor. El, me oh, el mejor. Mi abuelita's pollo es el, el mejor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ¿Quién es la um, favor favorita uh, grandkid? Grande oh, niño. No, Sí, uh, yo, ¿quién es? Yo quiero, yo quiero a los siete nietos míos. Igual es no favorito. I'm sorry. ¿No favorita? Mejor yo favorito. Estoy favorito. Estoy favorita. Abuela, es, es ok. Es ok. <risa> Pero tú, eres, tú, eres, tú me enseñaste el amor de abuela. <risa> Fuiste mi primer nieto. En Draco, yo estoy en Spanish. Es good, es good communication between grandma y grandson, you and me. No, oh, yo soy muy feliz. Um, yeah. Podemos hablar en español. Um, yeah, yo es, es mi sueño, abuela. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? I hope I made you proud. Yeah, I am proud because you speak Spanish, so please me so we can communicate. Mm. Pero, you know, I prefer speaking Spanish than English. Sí. Para hablar español conmigo. No. Yo te amo, papito. No. Te quiero, abuelita. Te quiero, papito. Te 
te adoro, papito. Yo te amo con todo mi corazón. I love you, papá. I love you too, grandma. Okay, okay. Right. That was just, um, that was a lot. It's hard to fathom all the feelings. It's hard to fathom uh, ups and downs and anxiety trips and roadblocks and the emotional walls and the perseverance. And I want to thank Spanish Sin Pena. I want to thank Wendy Ramirez and her team. I want to thank the entire Better Like team for being so amazing and patient with me and teaching me and being open and that is what it's all about. It's about diving in and making mistakes and being around people that love you and let you make those mistakes. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks. It doesn't matter what anyone says. It's your journey. It's who you are. And that's valid and that's real and that's beautiful. Follow like.